Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. The following demonstration will help guide you through verifying your chemical concentrations. It is important that the correct concentrations of detergents and sanitizers are used to effectively remove soils and prevent the growth of microorganisms to ensure food safety. Before you get started, ensure the safety data sheets are available for all chemicals, including those in your test kits, and that you read them. Put on the required personal protective equipment, for example, gloves, eye protection, etc. Perform the chemical concentration verifications in a well-lit area. Hold all the test kit dropper bottles vertically to ensure the correct number of drops is being dispensed and ensure the test kit chemicals are not expired. To ensure you're using the correct concentration of detergent for your sanitation procedures, you can verify the concentration by performing a titration. For today's demonstration, we will use Ecolab's Foam Force, a chlorinated alkaline detergent used for cleaning stainless steel equipment and environmental surfaces within a production facility to remove protein, fat, and carbohydrate soils. To effectively remove these soils, the foam must have a contact time of 5 to 15 minutes and the concentration when mixed with water must be between 2 to 4%. Less than 2%, we may not be removing all of the soils, and greater than 4%, we may be leaving behind chemical after the final rinse, or we may be wasting chemical. To perform the concentration verification, we use the following procedure. Step 1. Use an alkaline test kit. Step 2. Rinse and fill the vial to the 5 ml line with the solution to be tested. Ensure the solution is in its liquid form. Turn the ear off when taking the sample if using a foam hose. Step 3. If the solution is chlorinated, in this case it is, add 10 drops of sodium thiosulfate. Normal, 20. Number 069. Swirl to mix. Step 4. Add 5 drops of indicator, P number 014. Swirl to mix. The solution will turn pink. Step 5. Titrate within 0.5 normal hydrochloric acid, number 052, one drop at a time, counting and swirling between drops until the color changes from pink to colorless. Step 6. Record the number of drops of number 052 multiplied by 1,865 parts per million, which is our multiplication factor. This gives you the concentration in parts per million. Record this on your monitoring record. If the concentration is out of the 2 to 4% range, adjust the concentration if you're able to, or contact your chemical supplier to assist. To ensure you're using the correct concentration of sanitizer for your sanitation procedures, you can verify the concentration by performing a titration. Quat test strips may also be used in lieu of the titration method. For today's demonstration, we will use Chandler's Donasan, a quaternary ammonium sanitizer used after cleaning for sanitizing, processing equipment, and other hard surfaces. To effectively sanitize equipment and surfaces without requiring a potable water rinse, this sanitizer is to be used at a concentration of 200 parts per million. To perform the concentration verification, we use the following procedure. Step 1. Use a quat test kit. Step 2. Rinse and fill the vial to the 5 ml line with the solution to be tested. Step 3. Add 2 drops of complexing reagent. CO3300 and swirl to mix. Step four, add three drops of phenylthaline indicator, PH1605, and swirl to mix. The solution will either remain colorless or turn a pink color. Step five, add three drops of sulfuric acid, 0.5 normal, SA1590. If the solution is still pink, add sulfuric acid dropwise while swirling until the sample turns colorless. Step 6. Add 2 drops of toluidine blue, O indicator, TB3800, and swirl to mix. The sample will turn blue. Step 7. Add QACDT, QA3500, one drop at a time while swirling. 
Count the number of drops until the sample color changes from blue to purple pink. Step 8. Record the number of drops times 10 parts per million. This gives you the concentration in parts per million. Record this on your monitoring record. If the concentration is greater than 200 parts per million, you will need to rinse all surfaces prior to your next production run. Adjust the concentration if you're able to or contact your chemical supplier to assist. We hope you found this video helpful on how to verify chemical concentrations. For more information on quality and food safety, please go to our website. Thanks for watching.